Hello and welcome to today's guide on Lexis Library. Today's guide is about the Research Areas Table of Contents. This is a new way of grouping our content that we're introducing to Lexis Library in order to help your research workflow. We'll go over what research areas are, how to use them, and show you how they help optimize your research workflow. What is a research area? A research area on Lexis Library contains content relevant to a particular topic, i.e. research area. These research areas include civil procedure, advertising and education. In each research area, content is grouped by legislation, case law, LAWSA, forms and precedents, commentary works and practical guidance. Furthermore, relevant research areas also include other resources such as pertinent, regulatory or ancillary content for easy access. Looking for content by means of research areas is just another way that you can conduct your research and you can still use the publications grouping if you prefer. In order to understand this, we'll demonstrate a typical research workflow using research areas. Let's begin by logging into mylexisnexus.co.za. Here we start with the default publications view and table of contents. In order to access research areas, we'll click on the new heading above the table of contents. This changes two things. First, the table of contents itself displays an entirely new list of topics. And second, the main screen now shows the available research areas. One of the key things you will notice is that research areas is broken down by topic of interest rather than by publication. In the main research area screen, we can select favorites by clicking on the star icon next to the topic. And the four most recently selected favorites are displayed in their own area on top. Additionally, the four most recently viewed topics are shown to the right of your favorites. You can switch between large and small icons by using the grid button in the top right of the workspace view. Lastly, you can filter out research areas alphabetically by clicking the relevant starting letter above the list of research areas. To access a research area, you can either click on the entry in the table of contents or on the icon in the main workspace area. This will open a new tab in the workspace showing the available content for the selected research topic. In our example, Intellectual Property, you'll see that there are a number of content types shown. Each of these is a selection of content that is relevant to the chosen topic. If we click on National Legislation, for example, a new workspace tab opens with a list of the national legislation that is relevant to intellectual property. This list of legislation contains all current bills listed at the very top. Thereafter, all principal acts are listed alphabetically. Further to this, all proposed amendments are listed below each principal act for easy reference. And to make things even easier, all principal acts that have been repealed but have regulations that are still in force are also labeled accordingly. This means that all relevant legislative content is available at a glance per research area, ensuring that you are always up to date. It is important to note that not all legislation displayed is unique to a given topic. For instance, the Copyright Act is relevant to both intellectual property and advertising and will therefore show in both research areas under national legislation. To mail or download the legislation, click on the envelope or PDF buttons to the right of the desired legislation. Now let's look at LAWSA for international property. The LAWSA tab shows the relevant topics regarding intellectual property, but we're currently only interested in copyright. Under copyright, the LAWSA publication that contains the relevant information is shown. You will notice that you don't need to search through the volumes yourself and only the relevant titles and content are shown. When clicking through, we see the details of the topics covered by the LAWSA publication. We can either click on an entry to read the publication immediately, or we can mail a copy of the document to yourself or other interested parties by using the envelope icon to the right of the relevant entry. Another key feature of research areas is how case law is broken down for you. We have now included multiple different ways for you to view our case law to assist with quicker and more efficient researching. If we click on case law, we can see the cases are divided into eight subcategories, namely alphabetical list, chronological list, subject, court, judge, appearances, instructing parties, 
and Tribunal and Tribunal Officer. This allows you to search case law that is both relevant to your chosen research area and based on the information you may have available. For instance, under the subject subheading, you will find that cases are arranged under keywords with short summaries. This enables you to quickly find the cases you are looking for, as well as potential relevant cases that you may have missed using the previous publications method of research. The table of contents contains all the same information that we've seen in the workspace window, and you can expand a topic down to its various sublevels without having to navigate through the workspace. This can save time, especially if you know exactly what you're looking for. Additionally, the same functionality from the Publications table of contents exists here, and you can select multiple items for searching or viewing across a number of topics or research areas. With multiple items selected, you can save, email, or view the selection as one document. In addition, the search function has received some updates to include research areas. For instance, if we click on Pre-filters, we can see that there's a new category called Research Areas. If we click on this, the available research areas will show, and we can select which ones to search in. This can save a lot of time simply by narrowing your search results to your field of interest. Along with pre-filters, the search results screen now also allows you to narrow your search based on research areas. Simply click on the drop-down on your search results page and choose which research areas you'd like to narrow your results to. This new breakdown of topics or research areas helps you narrow down your research to topics and content that are relevant to your particular needs for your particular case without showing you information that isn't relevant. This saves time when researching for a case by reducing the amount of information given to you, especially if you're not sure which publications contain the information you're looking for. And that's it! As you can see, Research Areas is a new way of researching information that is fast and efficient, yet still contains all of the powerful features that you've come to expect from Lexis Library. As this is a new feature, your comments and feedback are invaluable in enhancing and improving this feature going forward, and we encourage you to contact us should you have any suggestions or queries. You can contact us directly through the live chat feature, via email, or telephonically during business hours.